On this episode, we're going to talk about the new Brotherhood Power Armor set from Modifius. Dome Runners TV, your guide to the Underhive and beyond. Hey there, Skyvy Scummers and Gangers. Crimson Oracle here with another episode of Dome Runners TV, and today I'm going to be bringing you my first ever unboxing video. Uh, I don't usually do these because, you know, most most of the time uh, I'm talking about Warhammer product, and those things get released out to other people before they go on to sale, and it's just not an interesting video to uh, to do once uh, you know, a hundred of people have already done it. So uh, here we have my first time doing an unboxing video because. Modifius has finally released their T45 Power Armor plastic set. And uh, let me tell you, I've been anticipating this for months. Uh, I think this is a game changer for Fallout Wasteland Warfare. The more kits that they move to plastic, I really think the more successful that that game can be uh, because it's a great rule set. And uh, I think that the resin models were definitely keeping some people from getting into the game, uh, myself included, even though I now have like a, a bunch of their resin minis, uh, I, I really prefer plastic. I prefer the extra bits you get from a multi-part plastic kit. I prefer the durability. I prefer the ease of working with them in terms of being able to use the, the glues that you want and not having to deal with release agents and all that stuff. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, I I'm going to be talking more about Wasteland Warfare on this channel uh, over the next few months just because uh, I think that it's a great game system and I have been trying to kind of uh, diversify my, my coverage to cover other stuff. So uh, definitely I uh, will be uh, dealing with some more Fallout stuff soon, um, but for now, uh, in fact I, I have a video coming up of painting the Modifius uh, 3D printable buildings, um, which is a whole other topic that I'm also uh, very excited to talk about. But for now, uh, let's get on to taking out the T-45 Brotherhood armor for the first time. If you like our content, don't forget to like and subscribe, and for as little as $2 a month you can become a patron and help support the show. So here we have it, the first hard plastic kit for Fallout Wasteland Warfare, and uh, iconically it is of course the Brotherhood of Steel power armor. Uh, you, can see you can see just as a point of comparison, uh, this is sort of the standard size of Fallout Wasteland Warfare box. This is the T45 heavy armor box. It is larger to accommodate the sprue inside uh, because the resin models already come clipped off of, you know, often they're clipped off of the runners, although not every part. And as you can see in here, you get an actual instruction manual, bases, and the frame itself. You can see the instructions are actually you know, instructions, which is something that uh, I have noticed is not present in, in pretty much any of the other Wasteland Warfare kits. They're all pretty straightforward, slap two or three pieces on and done kind of deal. Um, but as you can see, each piece of the, uh, each, each body is, you know, uh, a torso and then legs. Uh, and then you've got the, a bunch of different arm choices, including, you know, different shoulder and hand options, uh, which does mean that you will potentially be able to magnetize uh, at the shoulder if you are looking to do uh, magnetization, which is pretty cool. Um, now I will say that I think that these are, you know, uh, going to be easier to magnetize than the human scale figures because they're nice and chunky. Uh, I think the human scale figures uh, will probably be more difficult and a little bit more frustrating to magnetize just based off of having magnetized one set of my resin models. Um, I don't think the plastic would be much better. Just a side note, there has been some discussion of Modifius doing resin weapon upgrade packs for the plastic kits. So that may make magnetizing more appealing uh, if you want a future proof so that you can potentially uh, use those when they come out. Uh, and then at the back, it actually includes some unit cards uh, for the various models, uh, which I think is pretty cool. 
as it allows you to sort of get rolling uh, without necessarily having to uh, purchase anything else, assuming you have the core game. My only real complaint here, and it's, it's pretty minor uh, with the kit, is that it comes with an unmolded base. Um, with every other Wasteland Warfare kit pretty much coming with a sculpted base, uh, this just, this could have been very easily a, a sculpted base. Uh, these are just completely plain and boring, and, and there's nothing wrong with that you know, the big boring, but it would be nice when you're, when you're talking about a kit that you're paying a premium price on for, for them to actually include, uh, sculpted bases. Uh, you know, it's, it's a minor thing. I'm not trying to harp on it, but that, that would be something that I would, I would change going forward if it was up to me. So on the sprue, just to start, it only gives you three helmets and they are identical, um, which I was a little disappointed about. I was kind of hoping that uh, some of the different mods would be uh, presented in the helmet options, but you know, uh, that's maybe wishful thinking. Uh, it does give you two unhelmeted heads, so you don't have the choice of doing three unhelmeted models, but uh, it does give you a male and a female head, so there's that. Um, there is a right-handed LAS pistol, uh, and in true uh, multi-part plastic uh, fashion, it has a very tiny uh, little piece that you have to assemble, uh, something that fans of other uh, skirmish games made by uh, large industry <laughs> companies will uh, definitely be familiar with. Uh, there is a left and right-handed looks like a 10 millimeter pistol uh, in terms of the game uh, art and a vibro blade right here and the bodies here they're pretty much identical to each other so you know you're not getting a lot of uh, customization or, or variety here uh, which I think is somewhat of a missed opportunity but I do get that this is a brotherhood kit and the brotherhood is nothing if not very uh, uniform in their uh, design uh, so you do get a missile launcher, you get an assault rifle, you get a combat shotgun, you get a Merv, you get a uh, Gatling laser, I think, um, you get a heavy flamer, well, a flamer, um, and yeah, I, I think that it's an interesting kit. It has you know, more options than any of the resin kits in terms of variety of weapons available, which I think is a big deal uh, because the one thing that really held me back from, you know, a lot of the Fallout stuff when I was initially interested in it was that you didn't get the sort of bits that I expect when I'm buying, you know, when I'm paying premium prices for model kits. Um, I don't want to get a kit that just comes with one model that you build and there's no options. Um, I don't think that that's appealing. Uh, I know that some people don't mind that, but personally, I am not super into that being, you know, how the things are done for the modeling kits. Um, and I, it hasn't stopped me from buying some Fallout kits, but it has stopped me previously getting into the game. Um, this time around, I'm mostly getting into the game because I knew that these plastic kits were coming. And uh, I I couldn't be happier with, you know, the quality of the casting. Everything on here, the detail is crisp. Uh, this is, you know, definitely not uh, a, you know, not a half-assed attempt. When they start doing the more human scale kits, uh, we really, I'm hoping, you know, that they'll throw in more bodies uh, so that you're getting five models on a, on a sprue this size. Uh, just because I, I find that justifying the cost is harder uh, when it's, you know, that, that amount per mini. Um, but overall, I think that, you know, this is, this is the future of Wasteland Warfare right here. And in some ways, I feel like it's kind of, you know, it's an iconic set, you know, power armor is one of the defining aspects of Fallout. It's one of the things that people 
really identify with the series. And this is an absolutely phenomenal way to get started on that route. Uh, and I think that the models look pretty straightforward to assemble. It doesn't look like there's any kind of weird, uh, you know, too difficult bits to, uh, to get together. I am planning to uh, magnetize the arms, but I think I'll probably do a video about that later. Thanks as always to Carl Casey at White Bat Audio for the show's music. And of course, thank you to my patrons. You guys make all of this possible. I couldn't do it without you. And of course, if you are interested in becoming a patron, you can do so for as little as $2 a month and help support more content like this coming your way. Don't forget to check out the podcast. It's all Necromunda all the time, pretty much. Uh, it's on uh, Buzzsprout and all your favorite podcast platforms. And everybody out there, please stay safe and don't forget to change your paint water. <laughs>